In this video, I'm going to show you how to use color names to define colors in your CSS style sheets. And what I mean by color names is red, blue, green, gold, magenta. All those names actually define colors and browsers understand them. And it can make your CSS a lot more readable and really easy to work with. Now I'm going to show you how to do this right now. Hey, welcome back. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials. And with that out of the way, let's head over to the screen capture so we can start defining CSS colors using color names. I'll see you there. So on the right-hand side, we have a very simple HTML page laid out, and we have some CSS styles in line with the heading tags. On the right hand side, we see what that content looks like. So we have in the first row, first colored row, we have red and then blue and then green. And we define these using the color names, red, blue, and green. And inside the CSS, all we did was use the background declaration and use the name red or blue or green. And there's also others, there's 140 different ones. If we change this one to from blue to gold, save the page, we see we have a gold color. And gold is very similar to yellow, but yellow is also its own color name. It's gonna be slightly lighter than this, actually quite a bit lighter. And you can use magenta, all sorts. There, there, there are a lot of different colors that you can define using just the words like a lime green is another one. And, and so what you can do is instead of learning hex codes and RGB codes, if you're happy with the limited variety of 140 named colors, you can just use those to define colors on a page. The advantage of the RGB and the hex code is you get a huge amount of variety. Usually with, with these colors, you're, def you're limited to a couple shades of most colors. Whereas with R RBG and hex, you have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of different colors you can choose from. So that is how we use color names to define colors in your CSS and apply that to HTML elements. So that's all there is to using color names to define colors in CSS. You can also use hexadecimal and RGB. You can find tutorials on that on my channel. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials. And now check out these videos that popped up on the right hand side because you can learn some more awesome stuff. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.